Hi, I'm Red, and you're watching Power Garage. Uh, today we're talking about K-Series IV Tech. You know, not a lot of people explain in depth how it works, but that's what we're going to talk about today. So, um, there's a few variants of the K-Series Honda head. Um, this is the most popular, which comes off of an RSX Type S, which would be a PRB head. Um, this is what everybody wants to use. It makes great power. Um, but just to get started on how VTEC works, I have an intake camshaft. The intake and exhaust uh, look very similar on a K-Series engine. What you have is three lobes, okay? The two outer lobes is what you would call the low cam. The center would be the VTEC, the high cam lobe. Let's start with um, the most important thing about the VTEC is the rocker arms, okay? You have three lobes and you have three rocker arms, okay? The way the rocker arm actually works is very, very simple. It uses oil pressure, okay? So the oil pressure enters the head through the back right here, through the VTEC solenoid, okay? The VTEC solenoid takes oil coming into the head and runs it through the VTEC solenoid up into the rocker arm shaft, okay? The only problem with the K-Series head is all of the oil pressure, all the oil supply that supplies the VTEC and the cams all go through the VTEC solenoid. So keep in mind that if you have a clogged screen, the head's getting no oil pressure. So you can actually have a failure on the cam journals. Now that I've explained a little bit how the VTEC works, let's go a little bit more in depth, okay? Um, the oil pressure coming out of the VTEC solenoid or spool valve uh, enters the head and then goes through the rocker towers into the rocker arm shaft, okay? If you come here and look, you can see that there's one, two, three, four holes. And this is where the oil actually enters into the rocker arm. So if you look inside, right there, you can see there's a hole, and that's where the oil enters the rocker arm. And the oil pressure, it, let me see if I can get this out for you, there you go. The oil pressure enters into the rocker arm and it pushes this piston out. And this put piston, or this pin, pushes against the one next to it, and it locks this one to this one, and then it locks into this one. This one has a spring to return them back to normal once the VTEC is, is done engaged. So when the VTEC is engaged, all three rockers are locked and it rides on the larger lobe with more lift and more duration. And that's essentially how the VTEC works. Okay? One more thing though to keep in mind is you have a center spring called a lost motion that goes in the center so that when this VTEC is not engaged, this lobe doesn't flop around. And um, that's how the rocker arms work. Now that we've talked about the VTEC, let's talk about the I in IVTEC, which corresponds with the VTC. Okay, the VTC stands for Variable Timing Control. This gear, goes on the intake side of the camshaft. And if you come over here, it's a, it actually works very simply. I've already loosened the cover. Um, oil goes through rocker tower one right here. You have two holes, okay? And these two holes correspond with two holes that are on the camshaft. And oil pressure will go through one or the other and then enter the gear. What happens is, when oil pressure goes into the gear and makes the VTC move, yeah, there's a little lock right here that keeps, keeps it from moving. Let's see if we can undo that, because what happens is when the VTEC or the VTC gear uh, has no pressure, it goes into the lock position. Yeah, this thing is being a little stubborn here. There you go. So this gear, it moves back and forth, and that's how you get your advance. Uh, this particular gear came from a TSX, which only has 25 degrees. 
Uh, what you want is one from an RSX um, or a Civic SI, which goes up to 50 degrees, and that'll get you a lot more power if you were to swap those uh, between the different motors. And the way this is actuated is from the VTC solenoid, which goes in the end of the cylinder head right here. And this is what actually sends oil pressure through these two holes up into the tower. And uh, that's how that system works. And before I let you guys go, I have one more thing that I wanted to mention. Um, I was talking earlier, all the oil that goes through the VTEC solenoid uh, lubricates the camshafts. So if you come over here, all the oil going through the rocker arm shaft, it goes through this little hole right here. And that's the hole that supplies all the oil to the camshaft. And if you look right there, you can see a corresponding hole and then the camshaft will actually fill up with oil and that's how all the cam towers are lubricated for the journals of the cams. Uh, so you have to be careful with that stuff. Make sure that everything's working properly, your motor's clean, and uh, it'll run well. So I hope that answers some questions that you guys may have about a K-Series IV Tech head. If you have any more questions, feel free to leave a comment. Uh, hit that subscribe and like, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.